G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. I'm continuing along the Halloween lines because it's still October and I'm going to use my thinkers. I have used them a couple of times already for different things, but I thought, oh, I want to put eyes in them. I do, like a cyclops. Look, I've got a red one and like a teal and a yellow. I only had a few that had the cat's eyes, so I'm, I've picked those out. And then I'm going to tie those in together with some chameleon powders. I've got deep blue, magenta, dark magenta, and dark green. So I thought those colours might be nice together. Now, um, just before I started the video, I was mixing up some resin for something else. And I took, took a little bit and I just put a little tiny, few little drops in there like that. Now, so I've got to make sure that I don't put the eyes in crooked because that would just be awful wouldn't it so you've seen me do this before work out where the little line is and then put a dot there turn it over and put a dot there so that when you flip them over you know that the top and the bottom is where the eyes need to go or well, the line for the eyes anyway so I do it this way just hold it towards myself so I can see where I'm putting my dot there Oops, wrong way, wrong way. I'd help if you see the front of it. Okay, and there. So that's that one. And then this one as well. They've, only got, they've got paper on the back. Don't, if you peel the paper off, <laughs> you'll take the eye off and then it's just a little glass cabochon. So don't peel the plastic off. I did that once before I knew. I thought, oh, it's got a backing. I'll just peel it off. And off came the eyeball. <laughs> Don't do that. All right, now make sure it's nice and clean. Make sure that you haven't got any bubbles in your in your resin down there. And we're just going to drop that in, like so. And then we can use a toothpick if we need to, to push it down a bit and make sure that those lines are up and down. So once this has cured a little bit, um, I will get my chameleon powders and start dusting the mold but obviously I can't do it now because I've got wet resin Put that there poke it down a bit okay hopefully they're straight once your resin set a little bit but it's still jelly you can maybe flip it over um, and have a look. The only thing is it's got this this support piece here so it might not be all that easy to see but I was thinking if you were a bit unsure you could flip it over um, and have a look but don't do it yet. Wait till your resin's gelled a bit and then you can flip it upside down without losing your resin and then if you need to make an adjustment you can before the resin sets. Put that one in there. So that's basically all I'm going to do for this particular step. Now I know I've got some resin kind of oozing out the sides. Um, yeah, not really sure what I can do about that. I'll just have to, once it's dry, I'll just go over and dust that resin and the inside of the mold with the chameleon powders. Um, and hopefully, hopefully it'll be all right. Yeah, I, like I wanted to have enough resin in there to have a good good contact with the eyeball so that's what I've I've done look do it really quickly I can see the the, uh, the you know the um it's not ready to move yet I can see the the support so it was in line but anyway if you want to do that you can do that now I'm gonna just leave these for um Till this afternoon and then um, I'll come back and uh, we'll dust them and then we can just pretty easy just dust the whole thing fill it with black and away we go hopefully we'll have some really amazing <laughs> thinkers all right see you soon right -o, so the little eyes have set um, now I, I just put a little bit of um, the dust in this one just to see what would happen when I went over the glue 
and to me it looks as if I've got a bit of resin on the side there it looks as if the dust isn't really going to stick all that well to the blob of resin that's in there um, so look I don't know I, I don't want to pull them out and put a tiny drop in I'm just going to leave it like that and if it's got a clear area around the eye then then so be it but um, I don't know once the black resin goes in there it might be all right but you can see there how it's not really sticking as well as it sticks to the sides so anyway I'm going to keep going and and see how we do it's going to go and dust that all of the inside you have to be really careful though that um, you don't dislodge that bit of resin that's there otherwise you know your your color is going to get underneath so I won't bore you with um, making you sit through me dusting this whole piece or all three of them so you get the general idea don't you it's it's nothing nothing terribly exciting now can you see those little bubbles in there those little dots in there I've dropped some resin in there I can see that so I need to just can you see them just need to scratch those out pick them out and then go back over it again so make sure you don't have any there's another little one just in there I've obviously spilt some resin dripped some resin when I was pouring it into the head so if you see a little bubble like that a little dot um, just yeah take them out and you can feel them that they're actually a little bit raised so otherwise they you will notice them so make sure that you get all of those out all right I'm going to continue dusting all three I'll mix up my black resin and uh, I will come back to you all done and uh, I have mixed up my black now the previous thinkers that I did um, the set of three I popped them on my scales and they're about 210 grams for the three of them so now I know how much resin to mix up so yeah it's good if you've got a set of something or a, a finished piece of something and you can't remember how much to um, to make up for your resin just weigh the piece and then that'll tell you so I have got the platinum ultra clear it's not a deep pour resin but I'm hoping it's going to be okay because even though those areas are, are deep, they're not very big. So they're only, they're only this wide. So hopefully that'll be all right. So for this one, I mixed up 150 grams of A and 65 grams of B, according to my chart. Hopefully you've all got a copy of my chart by now. So 215 grams. And there's always a little bit of resin left in the side of, in the bottom of the cup there, isn't there? Stuck to the sides. Now let's just pour some in here. And don't fill it up all the way, otherwise you'll find if you fill your cup up too far, it's all going to drip down the side. So just put halfway um, and then just pour. Here we go, just pour. <laughs> I'm going to let the resin flow down there on its own. So hopefully it gets into those little toes. It's easier if the resin makes its way in. And like pushes the air out rather than me pouring into it and creating a little air pocket so that's just how I I do it um, and then if you're concerned about any bubbles um, you could potentially just give those little toes I can't really show you because I'll tip it just give those little toes a bit of a squish um, but it may dislodge your powder that you've got on there so yeah you've got to weigh that up but it's a thin resin and it should go into the little toes just fine I'll just do the other one I'll wait for that one to settle and then I can top it up around they go down into the little toes there just give that one just a little squeeze I'd hate to have a a bubble right on the end of the toe hey that would be terrible terrible Muriel all right next one if I've got enough resin left over I can do a, a 
the puffy heart, but I'm not sure if I will or not. So we'll see. Let it flow down. So this one I overfilled a bit. See what I mean about it dripping down if you overfill your little cup? Being hasty, I am. Too hasty. Okay. All right, back to the beginning. Basically, we're just going to fill them up now. So, yeah, I think it's pretty easy. Easy little mould to use. I mean, now that I've filled in all my little my little bits, I could just go pour straight from the cup, but might as well just keep doing this. It is easy. Now this should only take um, maybe six hours to cure, but um, I may... If I'm in a hurry and I want my workspace here, I may put it in the um, food dehydrator or my curing machine to speed it up a little bit. We'll see. Depends how impatient I get. And I like to fill them all the way, a little bit mold, a little bit um, doming, just so that when the resin does cure and set and shrink it pulls away from the sides and then you get that kind of dip with the lip around the edge so I tend to and if you've been following me you'll know I tend to fill them up right up to the top and slightly doming so slightly overfilled but not breaking the banks and overflowing obviously I made just enough just enough you guys 215 grams for three of them And of course, if you don't, you don't have to fill them up this much. They're quite a deep mold anyway, so you probably get away with not having to fill them all the way if you don't particularly want to use so much resin, but you, will, you are going to need like at least 200 grams. You really are. Clean that up. So that's basically it. Now we just have to wait. I will just spray the top with some isopropyl alcohol. I'm not going to torch. Do not torch these types of moulds, okay? You will burn them. You will melt your silicone. Trust me. I've done it. I've done it. Yes, I have. Oh, gosh. All right. Oops. Drop my isopropyl. Let me just grab it. It's on the other side of the bench. All right, here we go. I just put a little demister. Just one little spray over the top, and that's it. Okay. Little love taps. Not that it's going to do any good. And I've kept the colour there so I can double check on which one I've got. But that was the blue, that was the magenta, and that was the green. So blue, pink, and green. All right, you guys. Oh, I hope they're going to work. I'm a bit concerned about the space around the eye, but yeah, we'll see. It's not going to be clear because it's got black on it. So I just don't know whether we'll get any of that um, chameleon powder showing or whether it's going to be a, like a black ring around the eye. So either way, either way, it's still going to look good. All right. I'll see you real soon for the unmolding. Righto. It's the next day. Um, yep. Because I went out for dinner last night with friends and came home and played some cards and yeah, didn't do any work. It was a lovely evening off. So they are ready. Now this guy... I had an accident with him yesterday. I put him over. I put them all over there on the other side of my table so that I could use this um, workbench here, where my camera is just above up here. And because uh, I wanted to do a three D bloom for you, and I was working over there, and I knocked him over, <laughs> and um, all that that way. And um, it had started to gel a bit, so it, I didn't lose too much resin, but it kind of quite a bit ran over the sides, and I quickly put it back in. And it was big and blobby and gelled. So then I got my heat gun out and I kind of melted it back down again to fill in. But, um, yeah, I'm hoping I haven't done too much damage to it. So anyway, all right, I'm going to leave it for last because, yeah, I don't know. I don't know whether that's like pulled all the, um, you know, chameleon powder off the side. But look, accidents happen, don't they? <laughs> I don't think I've ever knocked anything over before, though. Never mind. 
see if I can loosen these all the way around first. Make sure that they're all loose. And these bits, let's make sure they're all loose. Don't cut yourself, it's sharp there because I haven't, you know, domed them because I didn't have quite enough resin. See how, I don't know if you can see, see there's a little, little lip there. Should have made up an extra, an extra ounce maybe for all of them. I see it's quite deep in there, in that little toe. All right, we're not going to turn them over yet. Comes out nice and clean. Won't turn them all over yet. Fast forward if you don't want to watch me doing this. I don't mind. I won't know. Unless you tell me. Now, with these sorts of moulds, um, you know, because they've got these thin bits and they've got thick bits, do make sure that your resin has cured totally. Don't try and unmould them when they're bendy. Someone said on my comments the other day, down below my YouTube video, I can't remember which, hmm, can't remember which video it was, but I said, oh, because I was using the deep pour resin and I said, oh, I'll have to wait two days before the resin, uh, like before I can unmold it. And she basically said, oh, no one ever listens to the um, um, manufacturer's instructions. I never wait two days. <laughs> I'm thinking, well, you must be... Um, you must be unmolding when things are still soft because a deep pour resin literally takes two days to cure. So if I had to try and take it out earlier, it would still be bendy. It's just how it is. It's not like I'm, you know, not unmolding just because they say, wait 48 hours. I didn't unmold because it was still bendy. Like, anyway, just chatting while I'm doing this. All right, so I've got the corresponding colors there. I'm going to leave that one for last, just in case it's a flop. All right, here we go. Shall we have a look? <laughs> See what we've got? Our Cyclops thinkers. Are you ready? Here we go. <laughs> oh, look at it. Oh, my gosh. That is so cool. The yellow actually um, matches well. Can you see like a, a yellowy goldy tone on the on the arms there <laughs> that is so cool yeah it didn't occur to me <laughs> that the head's tilted so I should have tilted the eye I just I just put it in straight didn't I but yeah that's it the head's tilted so oh, live and learn hey live and learn so I should have like tilted it but I put them all straight <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. It's still really cool. Now that one was the dark magenta. And this one here is the dark green. Let's have a look at the dark green. This head's also on an angle. Look at that. I didn't think about that. Oh, sometimes I'm just a dill. All right, here we go. Let's have a look at the this one. Oh, I like that one. I love those colors. Wow. <laughs> How cool is it? Oh my gosh. I like these. I think these are my favourite set. This one's not too tilted like the eye. But if you're doing these and you're putting an eye in, make sure you're following the shape of the head. All right, now this is the one that um, I knocked over. So I don't know. Hopefully it'll be all right. Hopefully it will still be okay. Okay, here we go. It's okay. It's okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a tiny little bit of, what are these ones doing? Okay, yeah, so th you know how I said that because I put the resin down first, I never even noticed that actually, that I might have that sort of dark, dark area around the eye. Didn't really notice it, <laughs> really, not really, uh, because we've got the black background. But on this one here, I've got a little bit of, Maybe when it fell over, um, a little bit of resin went underneath the other resin. Maybe it loosened. I don't know. Because there's a little bit there over the bottom of the eye. That is so cool. Which is your favourite? Which is your favourite one? This is my favourite. This one. I love this one. So this one here was the, um, just to remind you, deep blue. 
So there they are, our little thinkers, our Cyclops thinkers. I will take a nice photo for you. I'll stand them all up, take a nice photo. Let me know which one you, you like. I think they're so cool. They are a bit weird, aren't they? But look, it's Halloween. It's Halloween. Things are weird in Halloween. That's my favourite. I don't know if you can, can you see the different colours, the colour shift. So this one's going sort of purple to green. You can see there, purple to green. And I think that matches that little turquoise eye there really nicely. And then this one. This one's the magenta magenta to gold you can kind of see it picking up the gold there magenta to gold oh there look at that you can see it there see how it matches the eye i didn't know i was going to do that that's that's just that was just luck on my behalf <laughs> matching it to the yellow eye and then the last one what have we got blue blue to purple <clears throat> I've been doing some work in my studio, or my husband and I have actually. <clears throat> so I've still got some things on the floor down there. But um, over here, oops, I'll just zoom, out, zoom it out a bit. Over here I had, um, see these, these tall shelves, these ones? Um, I had five of those. I had one, two, three, four, five. And um, I took... I, pulled them out because I needed more bench space so this just went in yesterday this has got some plastic um, this bench went there yesterday um, and also my husband put up these overhead shelves there so I can put all my my stuff back on I may start doing a few paintings guys would you like to see some more paintings only because I've still got lots of paint and I've got lots of canvases up there and I've got canvases down here so yeah, I've still got canvases, but um, I I use these benches to put my my master molds on, and then pour silicone in them for when I'm making my silicon molds. So yeah, I've got a lot of those, and also they're great for storage underneath. So I still need to fill up those, but I've still got some stuff on the floor. So I've got some over here as well. Is they're really good? You've seen them before. Um, and then I've got these ones up here as well. Just unmolded these these molds this morning, so they'll just sit here today, having a little rest before they go back on the shelves for posting out. So yeah, lots of shelving, lots of shelving. <laughs> All right. Well, I best leave it at that. Oh, coming into summer, uh, dehumidifier. At the moment, we're on seventy-one percent humidity can't pour resin at that um, I'll need to turn this on uh, yeah too, way too humid to um, if it's over like yeah over 65% or well, maybe over 70 yep definitely no pouring resin you'll get a mean blush hey Izzy Pops what you doing bub what you doing hey <laughs> yeah so I'll put all my cups here easy reach all my resin, different sorts of resins. Got my wipes, got my gloves, got my paper towels. <laughs> um, yeah, all kinds of things. <laughs> all kinds of things. All right, here we go. Back to the thinkers. There's my box. Stand on my box <laughs> so I can see through my screen. All right, let me know what you think of these guys. And um, yeah, I will see you all again real soon for the next video. I've got another couple of Halloween ones that I still need to do for you. So I'll be doing those soon. So I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye for now.